Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce the hair new product, hair dongle matrix. It's a Android TV dongle with the official Android 11 setup, and uh, it will include the Netflix, Google Play Store, and YouTube. Oh, and the Prime Video, all is certified. Yeah. First, I want to show you that the box of it. Yeah, it's a small size. It will be easy to take. And now I will show you what is included. Yeah, it will have a dongle here. So <coughs> the dongle is a different type uh, from the OTT box and the sticker. Uh, it will. Uh, you can think that it should be a small size of the OTT box. It will uh, include the internal HDMI cable and a Type-C USB uh, interface to to make the power supply. It's a DC five. Yeah. So this is a dongle, and uh, it will include a remote control. Use this remote control. You can control the every function of the uh, dongle, and uh, you can also use the Google Assistant, the voice, the voice control from Google to control your device and uh, to get any information you want. And here, we have four quick buttons for Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and uh, special matrix. Yeah. Continue, I will uh, show you how to use it. Yeah. And another thing in the box, it should be, yeah, a power cable, USA to, US, uh, USA to USB C, and uh, adapter. Yeah. So this is everything here. Now I will show you how to use it. The first time you open it, how to use it. Yeah, let's start. Now I will connect it to power. Yeah, this is the first time you will see the hair logo here. Then let's wait. So this is a boot time. Yeah, so this is Android TV boot video here. Ah, you can also see this power size on her Android TV. So, uh, when we use the uh, uh, dongle, it should you will get the same. Uh, uh, how to say that? You 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 will get the same performance. Then we will start the uh, uh, setup with that. The first, the first step is to connect the remote control to the uh, dongle. Yeah, it shows that you should press back and home button. Let's do it. Yeah, the LED will shining. It will searching, connecting, and success. It will be it will be very easy and uh, quick to do this. Then let's continue. Uh, I will choose English. Here is a language select. We can see that this one can support so many. Maybe every language here. Yeah, I will choose English to do it. Yeah, here you have two ways to set up this device. The first, uh, the first one is to use your Android phone, because your Android phone has a Google account uh, on it. You just use your uh, Android phone to set up it. it. It will be easy. But here, I will use this remote to set up it. Let's do it. We can choose the skip. Then you need to set up the pass. Uh, you you need to set up the Wi-Fi network because this is a streaming box. 
you must connect to the network. Then it should work, or it can it cannot do anything. <laughs> yeah, let's set up the network. Oh, just forget the password. Yeah, connecting to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, successful. Here, it will check if we have the uh, new firmware for it. If yes, it will uh, download and update. If not, so this one, I just updated to the latest software, so it will not get the latest OTA package. Here, it connect to the Google server to check if we have the new updates. Yeah, no. So we can we can here to sign in the uh sign in the device. Yes, if you have the account, you can do this here uh, to save time. I will choose skip. Here is some terms of the service. Oh, the uh the privacy uh policy here. We just choose choose accept. This is some parts of uh, about the Google service about the location help improve Android. Yes, normally choose accept. Here is about the Google Assistant. If you sign in the Google account, you will use the full function about the Google Assistant. But we can also choose the user assistant without sign in. But this one is uh, we we just can use some. Uh, limited functions here to save time. I will choose this one. <laughs> yeah, here. Uh, if we choose allow, it will use the Google Assistant the voice search to search the contents inside Netflix and Prime Video and some other uh, apps. Yes, I choose allow. Here, choose the name. Uh, the the normal. Uh, uh, the standard name here is Dongle Matrix. Uh, <laughs> Dongle Matrix. You can also change the name here, and you can set a name which you want. Here I use the original one. Here is some um, uh, famous and useful apps which we suggest you to download and set up. Yeah, you can choose every. Uh, you you can choose them all. Oh, I select them. Yeah, here uh, to save time, I choose unselect. Yeah, here it show you some functions about this dongle. First, it's Android TV, and the second one you can download the apps you want from Google Play Store. It's an official certification. It is an official certification, so you can download everything. Uh, certified by Google Play, and the third one is Google Assistant. It's a voice search. You can use it. Uh, you can use it to help you uh, find the contents, uh, to get the information you want, such as the visors and the traffic. Uh, yes, it's, it will be very useful. Oh yes, we can also use this voice control to control your uh, smart devices in the home. So, for example. We can use this one to control the light. Uh, turn on the light, turn off the light. Yeah, such as this. Oh, the last one is uh, if a, if a TV or monitor to go with this uh, dongle, we can we can use a mobile device to cast the contents to the device. It will have the same functions as uh, Android TV. Yeah, yes, it's Android TV. Then let's choose the uh, let let's choose the region or countries. Yes, you can choose any countries you want. Then, for example, here I will choose uh India. I have to find the India. Do do. Yeah. 
in there, in there. Ah, here I choose it. Here we have a new function here. Uh, we can also use this remote uh, to as a universal remote to control uh, something such as the TV or the sound bar or the AV receiver. Yes, so I can show you how to use it. Then for example, I want to control the TV. Here, we need to choose the TV brand at first. Here, I choose the uh, higher TV. Yeah, then here you will hear the mu uh, uh, now you will hear the music. If yes, you can continue to do this. It will show you how to use it. We can use the, uh, yeah, so before that you hear the music, then we will press up and down to change the volume. If the function is okay, we choose yes. Then we will use the power button. We can press power. Yeah, then maybe the screen will uh, screen off. Then we, we press it again. Yeah, this function is working. So the remote is set up. Now you can use this remote not only to control your dongle, you can also use this remote to control your TV. Use the power uh, input, uh, power input, and the volume up and the volume down. Uh, yes, very limited function, but it will help you to control your TV. Just use one remote. Here, we can see the home screen, home launcher of this dongle. Yes, it's the same as the Android TV. We can see here, the first one is the favorite apps. Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, such as this, and the uh, hair special app, Matrix. And second one is uh, uh, recommended contents from every apps. Here is Netflix. Uh, this corner is a function about the search and the word search. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's similar as Android TV. Here is the notifications and uh, Wi-Fi setting. Here is a normal setting here. Okay, that's all. So uh, this is a product of, of the uh, dongle matrix. Uh, you can you can see that if we use this device to go with uh, uh, maybe non-smart TV, some monitors and uh, uh, the projector yeah uh, it will help you to make the device change to uh, the new smart tv device with the latest uh, with the latest uh, uh, software oh no, no no with the latest smart system we can we can see it here dongle matrix Android TV OS version is 11, the latest one. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Thank you.